we look at the first half, we hit the post twice. We we're a little unlucky on the second half. I think it was just one of those games where things didn't go our way. I felt like we created chances, but I think the most frustrating thing is we, we have too many half chances that don't develop into really good chances. I know the guys are frustrated right now, but it's a long season and there's going to be games like this. I think for us it's really important to not only watch the video and see where we made the mistakes, but commit to the process of improving as a team. I think, you know, from the beginning, uh, we take the control of the game. Uh, but we know, you know, they come here and sitting, just try to, to find the, the contra, you know. But that's the way they play today. But in my opinion, Red Bulls play a good game today. Uh, we are not lucky, you know, in the final tour. But, you know, it's, uh, it's tough for us to lose at home with, with our fans, but we have to continue. So to see forward for the next game. And then first half, I felt we had the better of the game. And then second half, they get a goal, and that just disbalances us. Our shape went a little bit, and then kind of spiraled out of control. Yeah, I just watched the goals, and the first one was questionable handball, but the ref was in a good position, so, so if it wasn't a handball, then and so be it. But we even, before the goal happened, we had a couple chances to to make the tackle, to clear the ball, and we didn't. We fluffed it a couple times, and he ended up getting a decent cross, but more than anything, when the cross happens, we lose track of our runners, and Nogueira was able to, to deflect it in. And then the second one is we have to help each other. You know, we made Fabiano look like Usain Bolt there, just running down, streaking down the sideline. And in that situation, we've got to communicate, pass guys off, pass runners off, and we're making our lives more difficult by not communicating properly and, and letting each other know <clears throat> when guys are coming through. At that time, it was nil-nil at halftime. It wasn't really frustration yet. Uh, we knew that we were going to get more chances, but it was important to not let them get uh, a sucker punch goal. I don't remember them having a chance in the first half. Actually, one, actually. Um, but we had a lot of the games, so they got that goal, and then it makes it difficult after that. On any given day, you know, like my dad says all the time, the ball's round. And in this case, it didn't go our way. But we have the quality. It's about doing it consistently. And now we're 11 games in. We've got 23 more games to go. And what's going to be important for us is how are we going to improve over the course of time? And how are we going to be a team that not only is consistent, but is dangerous time and time again? No, good, good. I think uh, I feel all right. Uh, Red Bull, I think, today play good, good game. We, we don't score today at the beginning of the game, so you know, in the second half they have two chances so they kill the game, so you know, we just have to look forward for, for the next game. I don't know, Let's watch the t we'll watch the tape and see what happened, but um, as I said, we actually had chances to score, so if it was a complete stalemate with no chances, then it would be more worrying, but we had chances. I think in the beginning of the season we caught a lot of teams off guard. And Excuse me chances occurred. Teams now game plan for us and they understand that we have quality players in the final third and they found a way to frustrate us. So we continue to talk about having patience in the final third and because there is a lot of quality we do believe that it's only a matter of time before it happens. The four up front need to do probably a bit more creating goals and taking chances and being more ruthless. Me, Brad, Mike and Sasha, that's on us. We're going to keep working there. Like, last game against Dallas was a difficult game. This is one where at home you want to score goals. So that's a bit disappointing, but we'll get back to it. We'll get goals. So anytime you play teams in your conference, it gives you an opportunity to create distance. The scenario was perfect for us to play at home. Of course, they got a good result at home last weekend or this past week against DC, but we also got a good, good result on the road against Dallas. We shut them down, a very potent attack. And so there's momentum from both sides. And it was a frustrating first half. I think the only chance that they created was a giveaway. But we also had some decent opportunities. And <clears throat> maybe if things were going our way, then, you know, instead of hitting the post and going out, it hits the post and going in. But that's just football. That's part of it. And part of 
what we have to deal with is it's a long season, and we're going to play these same guys over and over, so they're going to have a better sense of who we are. But on the flip side, we have to have a better sense of how to break them down and understanding how they're going to play against us. And that's something that I know the coaches are intelligent enough to, to figure out for us. And then as we implement it, I also believe in the quality of this team, especially the guys up front, that we're going to find a way to, to break teams down when they play like that.